Hi everyone, it's Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations and welcome to the weekly reading for Aquarius for May 1st through the 7th, 2016. So I feel that the energy is coming into May. Um, we kind of need a little nourishing and nurturing and kind of a, some unconditional love. And um, we've been working a lot with uh, Guardian Angels lately, with Quan Jin, the Violet Flame. So, so a lot of these are very strong, but very gentle energies. So that's why I decided to work this month with the Guardian Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine. Because I feel that their messages are really loving. And, um, and I think we just need a little bit of that TLC, if you will. So I asked my guardian angel and your guardian angels and guides to help us with this reading today for Aquarius for the week of May 1st <laughs> through the 7th. I'm laughing because I got the same card for a previous reading in the same spot. So we have 10 of wands and then we have 7 of wands. Oops. And then we have ace of thought, which is the ace of swords. And the bottom card is... Review and Contemplation, and it is the known as the Judgment card in the regular reader, Rider Waite Tarot. All right, so Ten of Actions. Ten of Actions is the Ten of Wands, and it says that um, we've been working really hard. So I know um, for myself in particular, I've been I've been working like burning the candle at both ends, doing videos, doing readings, doing my my regular day job, um, being a mom. So I know that we can get a ca caught up in all of these things that we need to do. So they're really telling us to take it easy, take a moment at least for deep breathing, and then that will bring the energies to uh, a more less like a less stressful level and they say that don't take on more responsibility than um than what is truly yours and um i see that she's you know this little girl she's trying to reach up all these things so I, when i look at it it's like oh my god i just want to like declutter this place so that's the message i've been getting is about decluttering not only our physical homes and our space our work areas but within ourselves, our thoughts, declutter our thoughts and kind of, you know, give ourselves a break in order to make space within us in order to receive the new messages and the new energies that are coming into May. And with this week, we also um, are coming into uh, the new moon and Taurus energies with the Earth trying that's happening. And those are really beautiful, supportive, foundational energies. And we're going to feel that shifting even though we're in retrograde we are going to feel the shifting of it being somewhat lighter so as we reduce our burdens reduce um, what we feel is our responsibility and things we have to really do um, then we can feel somewhat lighter and then we get to the seven of action and so when when we declutter ourselves from everybody else's issues then it's time to step into our power and to reclaim our power. That's part of this decluttering is giving back energies that belong to somebody else back to them and reclaim your own power. And this happens very specifically with relationships. It could be some drama that's going on at work or it could be something that's uh, uh, within the family ties. Um, I don't see it in personal relationships uh, with, your, with your partner, but I see it as um, maybe peripheral uh energies maybe mother-in-law father-in-law you know uncle aunt that type of thing and um it says really that your angels have your back and to really step forward into your power to accept your abilities to really shine and i love that she's got this red coat and she's got the little snowball in their hand she's ready to you know to throw that right and um and it's really about releasing the clutter of your own self-doubts and fears as well. And once you're able to do this, the beauty lies in that you open yourself up 
And here we have the Ace of Swords. So realize that your thoughts create your reality and that you are responsible for your own reality because you yourself have created it, whether it be in an unconscious level or through conscious awareness and using your focused intent to bring these new ideas, these new inspirations forward in order to create a better future for yourself. And the 20, the judgment card, means to me that you are stepping into your path. You are stepping into your spiritual responsibility. You are stepping in in a conscious manner to really claim who you are, claim your gifts, your talents, not have to apologize to anyone for it, and just stand in your truth, and be, but be loving about it. It's not about bashing somebody over the head. It is just being this quiet, assertive uh, person who is confident in, in what they are here to do and what they are meant to accomplish. And it's really um, not being distracted by what others think and feel. It's really about being true to yourself and really stepping forward and, and accomplishing your, your own uh, mission that you set for yourself when you came into this life. So kind of a powerful week for you as you're like setting the groundwork, you're preparing for the things to come. And so as you, you know, think of this new idea and allow it to kind of brew a little bit, allow that new thought to take the place of the things that you have let go of and allow your enthusiasm and your, your passion and your desire and your own personal power to um, really fully empower the, your self-thought. And that's what really brings it into manifestation and sets you on your divine path and on your on your mission for, the, for this life. Um, so, I'm, wow, that's really exciting. It's very potent and powerful energies right now, especially with the retrogrades, the new moon, the earth trines. But we're being supported by the earth. We're being supported by our angels. And know that um, you are free to release these things and move forward. So if you feel that you need a private reading for yourself, um, please check out my website, Akashic Inspirations. I have Akashic readings and tarot and oracle card readings available as well. And thank you to those who have asked for readings from me recently and are, are waiting to receive their responses. So I'm working on those uh, over the weekend so you can have them. So I wish you... Uh, many blessings. I look forward to sharing with you on my Facebook on a daily basis. And um, if you feel that this serves you, please like it and share. Um, and share to your groups on Facebook. Share with someone that you feel will be of benefit. Um, because that's my purpose is being of service and expanding um, this knowledge to others and sharing the energies. So I wish you many blessings for this week, Aquarius. Namaste.